talking like an atheist in the information age. Today is January the 5th. <laughs> With a low of 34 and a high of 48. Here's an announcement for you. Attention students interested in world politics. The Model UN Club will join the African Studies Center at Pitt for a stimulation on African-centered diplomacy. Diplomacy. Shut up. Please come to the meeting in room 390, Monday, January 9th, for more information. What? Guys, it's, it's my favorite time is coming up. Auditions for the Spring Musical will be held immediately after school on Tuesday, January 17th, and you, yes you, are invited to try out. To audition, you must perform 36 to 48 bars of a show tune that showcases your upper vocal range. Please bring sheet music along for your song. Students also have the option to perform a short dramatic monologue after their singing audition. The monologue is not required, but encouraged for anyone seeking a lead role. Please see Madden Harold, Miss Madden Harold, if you got any questions. If you want to do stage crew, please do stage crew. It's so much fun. You should do stage crew. I did stage crew last year for the play. There we go. Do you enjoy running? Do you enjoy hitting things? Hitting specifically balls, baseballs? Well then, you should go to room 483, Coach Hopper's room, on Thursday, today, at 2.20 after school. Go play baseball if you like baseball. I haven't played baseball since I was nine. Goodbye. Peace. Three. We're back to, oh my god, the Steelers are still on the In the Hut playoff graphic. Two and six. Season's dead. Everybody's dead. Fire everybody. I'm in absolute agony and pain. Alyssa, where are we on now? Where are we now? It's Where seven, are we now? Seven. Eight and eight, and you're in the hot, baby! You're still alive! You're over six. Oh, eight and eight out of 500 record, which is amazing. Wow. I'm so high right on happiness right now. <laughs> he does not have Only coke. I mean, you diet. I mean, do you consider this a drug? Uh, for you, yes. Okay. Well, in that case, I am on drugs. Only one. Um, wow, uh, what to say about the game, uh, Kenny Pickett, the second week in a row, um, turns into a god in the final drive. I mean, I've, listen, I, admittedly, I had some doubts, but like, I've got, come on, like, come, come on, that was amazing! Um, and that answer, that drive alone answered a lot of questions for me about their, the Steelers' future with him, um, Especially doing that back-to-back -back weeks. Um, I mean, I mean, come on! I can't stop saying that. Come on! Come on! 16-13. Um, uh, I, I mean, the first little bit was rough for the defense. I kept seeing him throw the ball to a wide open Mark Andrews, and I was like, why is there no one within 30 yards of him? Um, it was like he had a restraining order against everybody else on the field. No, that's what it was. Like yeah, nobody, bad breath. nobody was even close to him. Uh, but then they, they sort of figured that out. Um, Everybody was talking about how the Steelers wouldn't be able to stop the Ravens running game, but it actually ended up being somewhat the opposite. Najee Harris ran like he was possessed, uh, which was amazing. I think that might have been a career game for him, um, and catching the touchdown pass at the end of the game. Um, the defense, after that, Andrews thing looked pretty good. Like I said, they stopped the run. Everything looked pretty good. Um, what are you whispering over there? Nothing. Okay. Just telling them that I don't know who any of these people are. Well, that's okay. 
Anyways, I'm, I'm too happy to even like be deterred by that. Um, anyways, so eight and eight and you're still alive and I think, uh, I have it on my phone here. Steelers play the Browns this Sunday and here's what the Steelers, here's what has to happen across the entire league in order for um, the Steelers to make the playoffs. So. Alright, so we had some technical difficulties. Yeah, those were the technical difficulties. The battery ran out on the camera. This is a well-oiled machine we have here. Um, anyways, I was talking about the Steelers' playoff chances. So, for the Steelers to make the playoffs and for me to lose my absolute freaking mind, um, the Steelers have to beat Cleveland next week. They need the New York Jets to beat the Miami Dolphins. Dolphins probably still without Chua, so that's possible. And they need uh, the Buffalo Bills to beat New England next week. Now, we don't quite know what's going to happen with Bills. You probably I can actually help you get that. Uh, I mean, you know, as far as we're concerned, that game was suspended. We don't know if it'll get picked up. It's not getting picked up this week, so the Patriots game will happen beforehand. But we also, you know, don't know what the state of people playing is going to be like. I mean, obviously, uh, wishing the best of luck to Hamlin and uh, local guy from the Keys Rocks, yeah. Pitt, Pitt grad. Um, that, guy's a, that guy's a Pittsburgh kid. He is. Yeah. Um, so just really hoping for the best for him and we'll see what happens, what they do with the Spangles game just because it was so like integral to all of NFL right now. So yeah. we're going to see. It, uh, it unfortunately was a game that meant a lot to <laughs> so a lot of teams, including the Steelers. All of the yeah. AFC? Yeah, it was. So we'll see what happens uh, with that. Our thoughts are obviously with Hamlin and his family. Um, I hope the next time that we hear, uh, I get to lose my freaking mind because the Steelers have made the playoffs. Eight and eight, and you're in the hunt, baby. In the graphic. In the graphic. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.